Yep, been a long time since I've done a ladder match. Uh, we're going up against Hawk289. This is one of the guys I don't think I've ever beaten. There are a couple of there are a couple of players where it's like, okay, it could go back and forth. This is one of the ones that I don't think I've ever beaten. So this will be a good one. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at uh, what happens in this game and see if I can figure out a way to see if I can figure out a way to actually beat him. Game's going down on via three protectorate. Pretty classic map. Lots of reclaim. Um, I'm also not that great at this map either, so that's that's another another just beautiful thing about this game so far. Change up my build order a little bit there. Get my calm working on. Some more power, let engineers build the rest of my core maxes. Uh, okay, so plan the game. Drop a corner and uh, try not to die. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's the game plan we're gonna be going with. No, but in real talk, um, I'm going to try and go for less T1 this game. Like, I'm probably going to get six factories in my main base and then probably get, like, two in uh, the drop base, uh, which I think is I think is less uh, whenever, whenever you're talking about this particular map. Um, actually, six is a lot. Probably four, three or four in my main base, pushing out T1 units, um, and then we'll go for, um, we'll go for T2. The, the game plan that I'm going to be rolling with. Oh, great. He's already got air up. Of course he does. He might have gone first air. Damn, there's a bomber. Fuck me. Yeah, and there's, there's nothing I can do about it until this gets up. I mean, I can get a few of those, but... As far as how much impact that's going to make, not that much. I've lost all my engineers, essentially. Well, that was the scout. Don't know where the bomber is, but... So I'm going to try and drop this corner just because it's easier for me to manage south to north instead of uh, west to east. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of what we're going to do. Scout coming in to get all these rebuilt. Maybe grab those two as well. We'll send the next engineer to go do that.
Okay, hmm. land factory up there. I think he went first there. I think that's how he got. I think that's how he got a bomber out so quickly. Which I mean, I, I don't know how badly that hurt me. I don't think it hurt me that bad. Let's see. in a lot of a lot of factories as quickly as I can. Well, shit. Okay, so he might have that northern section. We got a scout. Let's go check it out. I think I have been getting better at scouting um, recently. I find myself not blindsided by stuff quite as much as I used to be. Okay, so he is he hasn't dropped the he hasn't dropped the northern side yet. Please kill the bomber, thank you. Alright, well, I mean let's let's go for the northern side as well then. Stinking long line of oh shit. That's the wrong one. Uh brrr. Trying to uh, get these guys out of here with some labs. Okay. About as good as we could have expected. Getting hit up here now. I know I said I was going to go lighter T1, but I don't think I'm going to be able to pull that off. I'm going to have to have to switch things up a little bit. T2. Stop building T1 power generators. Start getting some T2 love and goodness up. Well, against all odds, I think that we have grabbed control of one corner and are contesting the other corner, so... It's hard for me to it's hard for me to complain about that. Oh, that's new. It's a problem.
Shift. <laughs> I haven't scouted in a while either, which is not great. He's obviously found a point of weakness. Uh, I feel like I need to be reclaiming more. Yeah, I definitely need to be reclaiming more. Scout, I have an interceptor. I need another air factory. Probably need to go T2 air. Need to secure those mixes. Gotta rebuild this one. Just I'm building radar everywhere at this point. Oh geez, there's there's bad guys there. I thought I sent that into you over. Alright. There's a point defense. Let's go ahead and uh, take that point defense out. Okay. Manageable, manageable, I think, at this point. I'm not losing my mind just yet. Well, that was stupid of me. But also, way more stupid of him, though. He lost way more NTs there than I did. Oh, here's his com. Okay. I really should be building um, factories out here and then setting, like, reclaim engineers. Okay, so comms up, comms up north. That's good for us to know. Hello. You are not welcome here. That's a factory, for damn sure. Factory needs to die. He's only building artillery. He's playing his UEF, which is interesting. Interesting choice. Uh, probably not that many rhinos. Oi, oi. Let me, I need to think about what I'm trying to do here. Uh, okay, what am I, what am I trying to do? I need to get more T2. I need to definitely get more T2. Um, probably start upgrading some of my other mixes to T2. I don't know why I haven't done that yet, or why I haven't thought of that. What is shooting and who are they shooting at? Okay, you're shooting at that. All right, that's fine. Let's grab these. Uh, let's get that. Okay. We need to kill these two mexes, because uh, those, are, those are bad guy mexes. We don't want bad guy mexes. Okay. So that army that I just ran into is now come down this way. So let's try and move uh, the main force that's over here up to the north while they're tangling with that. Um, okay, I said it earlier I needed to, I needed another air factory. It's, uh, yeah, definitely the case. It's more of that. Um, good on power. I need to keep upgrading these mixes. I'm not ecoing well enough, and I'm running into point defense. won't be a problem. I'm I'm really concerned that he's that he's going T3. Um okay, I do have a scout. Sweet. So I see a T2 factory. That's his HQ actually. It's an odd spot for your HQ, but Okay, I'm, I'm losing the northern corner for no reason because I have plenty of units in the vicinity. All right, uh, that's going to go for... Uh, 
go for engineers. Um, okay, I think that's T. I think those are mongies. I don't think those are ravagers. Which I'll, I can deal with. I can deal with that. Okay, I've got I've got so many freaking T two engineers. You know what? Why don't we just say fuck it? Well, let's go T three air. Let's uh, we've got got the southern side of the map. We've we're in a good position, I think, on map control. Let's just push our advantage and just try and keep him pinned in as best as we can. We'll contest the northern side. Okay, yeah. So those were mongies that I was seeing earlier. Uh, I definitely am going to need some T2 Lambo up north, otherwise I'm going to end up losing that. Um, and then need, need radar down south. Yeah, that's, that's bloodbath. Well, I'm sending my units into a buzzsaw there. Keep echoing as best we can. Something shooting at something. Okay. I'm gonna get one more. I'm gonna get one more TTP gen, and then I think we're gonna go for T3 air and uh, really try and make his life miserable. And that gives us a little bit of flexibility because we can also go for, uh, we can also go for like a monkey or something like that. See how badly this destroys my eco. Uh, oh, there's um, TML. Try and dot a couple of TMD around. Send a few engineers to do that. Hopefully, it'll be okay. Just gonna upgrade that to tech two. Again, super confused as to what he's doing. Um, I don't know, I feel like I should be losing. More reclaim, more reclaim. I want more, and I know I shouldn't. Easily the best line delivered by Hayden Christensen in that entire movie. Oh, hello. There's, there's, there's enemies messing with T2 mixes. That is unacceptable. Okay, we are at T3 air. Um, yeah, let's go for a couple engineers. I think we go for a strat, right? Is that what we do? Is that what is that what the cool kids do whenever they make it to T3 air in a 1v1? Uh, there's something shooting me. There's all sorts of all sorts of nastiness. I should probably shut these down actually.
Yeah, he's investing a lot in defenses and... I mean, I think that's helping him potentially because, you know, I haven't really been able to take out any of his mexes, but on the bright side, he hasn't really... I haven't really had any mexes that I needed to take out. That army will not win, sir. Desperately need a look at what's going on in his base, though. A little look. Okay. I'm well aware that it's more efficient to uh, deconstruct mexes and then rebuild them. I just don't have like the attention span right now to do that. Okay. All right. He's at T2 air and uh, T2 land. So once we get this max to T3, it's go time. It's go time with the air. Could honestly, we could honestly go go time here in the middle. I thought all these were point defense. They're mexes. Oh, he's GGing out. <gasps> oh my god, I didn't even see. Kill the commander. Go, 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 go. Everything, sacrifice yourselves. Commander must die. Sweet. Okay. So we'll do a po post-mortem on that game. So we'll do a post-mortem on that game. Um, I have an inkling as to as to what happened. But uh, we'll go ahead and load into the replay to check it out. I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Okay, and we are back. So, I'm down in the bottom corner. He's in the top corner. Uh, let's go ahead and bump the speed up. I wanted to see if he went first air. Ha ha, he did. Called that one. So he went first air. I was actually really happy to win this game. Um, like I said, I've played against this guy several times. I don't think I've ever beaten him. So this is, this is a refreshing change of pace for me. And I think that some of it, I think that some of it might come down to, uh, every time he's beaten me, it's been on a smaller map and it's come down to calm on calm action and with this being such a big map and with me not moving my commander out of my base it uh it turned into something different but i mostly want to see you know if there are any like super critical mistakes here comes the bomber and um i think that whenever there's a bomber this early in the game there's there's very little that you can do unless you went for early air like i'm going second air i probably have too many power generators queued up to go second air um, again, I, I know you really only need, so I've got nine here. I think you need seven, but I like to, I like to pad myself with a little bit of extra power just because I know that I'm going to power stall at one point or another. And whenever I'm thinking about building power, I like to overbuild it. So it's the way I like to play. It's, uh, makes me a little bit more comfortable whenever I'm playing. Um, but he kind of 
maybe lost a couple of opportunities with the bomber. I think he got three engineers. Yeah, so he got three engineers, one here, one that was reclaiming, and then one up there. Uh, definitely could have grabbed this guy, potentially this one as well. So um, a couple of missed opportunities, even though I had mo mobile AA out. Goes for a drop in the northern sec northern corner. Actually didn't see that drop until later. Um, and then, oh, so he only drops one engineer and then goes for, so, th okay, so this is how this factory got there was very aggressive drop with the tank. There's only two engineers. I don't think that was a great move. Um, just because and we'll, we'll bump this down a little bit so I can talk about that, but it weakens him instead of having, you know, one position of strength. He now has two easily overrunnable positions, which, you know, <laughs> spreading yourself out, you know, is really, really good. But if you can't do anything with either of the positions, then it kind of makes it a moot point. Did I lose? Oh, I actually lost my first transport. I didn't realize that. Luckily, I had another one in queue that I used to drop later. I totally thought they were the same transport uh, for a long time. But... This is like the difference in expansion. So he's still building his initial factory up here and he's still building his initial one down here. Whereas I've got my first one done and I'm moving on to my second and dropping multiple engineers in the same spot uh, really allowed for that to happen. Although these guys are really clustered. He could have, he could have wiped that out with the bomber right there. Um, so yeah, I think that consolidating engineers uh, is a good thing instead of spreading them out and making two very weak positions instead of one relatively strong position. Now, he does get a good raid here. Um, I think I remember I just scrambled to build um, labs off of that, whenever I noticed. I haven't noticed yet. There we go, okay. Yeah, so I scrambled to build labs off of that. That was gonna be my, that was gonna be my strategy. And I think that I did a bad job protecting myself on the southern side of the map. I sent all of my units north because I thought that this manufacturing facility was going to get online soon enough. Um, and as it was, he's spending a lot of actions on dropping units in areas that they probably don't need to be dropped. That's, uh, I don't really... Maybe if it was a ferry point, it would make more sense, but he's spending a lot of time dropping units in areas where he doesn't really need to drop them to get there. So I think normally, you know, what you want to do whenever you're dropping is you want to get past defenses or something like that. And here he hasn't really done that. You know, he just kind of dropped them in an area where there was no opposition and they didn't have any constructors with them. Like, arguably, if you had dropped three tanks here and then three engineers, it would have been way more impactful because then he could have built a factory there. And that would have made my life really terrible. As it was, though, he did uh, get in and take out a couple mixes with um, these tanks, which was good. He definitely had me scrambling early. But zooming out and looking, um, he lost his expansion because didn't have enough strength there and he lost the bottom expansion so all he's kind of accomplished is being just annoying and i guess i was expecting the annoyance to really turn into a huge problem for me but it never it never really did it just kind of was always wow that's a that's a pain in the ass kind of thing to deal with instead of like a, okay this is actually a game losing kind of thing. At some point, I think I realized that this factory exists. But he's going only for artillery out of it. I think, uh... I think committing to your strategy here... Obviously, it's too late now, because I've, I've seen it. Um, but committing to your strategy here would be important. I mean, you've only got... Oh, actually, I didn't see it. So, yeah, you can still commit to it. But going for engineers, I think, at least a couple out of this factory, like two... And then uh, building more factories here is is kind of the plan. I think that's the play if you're going to go for this. One factory is not going to make a difference against 
you know, the, the four that I have here. Now I'm T2, getting T2 land up. Kind of skirmishing all around. I'm curious what his eco looks like. Did I out eco him? Yeah, I did out eco him by a good amount. Some of that is due to the expansion. I think that some of it is due to reclaim as well. Um, he, I think, is, has done a worse job of picking up reclaim. You can see he's got all the kind of brambles in the back of his base, and there is mass in here. Um, same with down here, able to grab this reclaim. So. I remember there was one point. There was one point where he parked all of his planes above uh, these anti-aircraft guns. And it's one thing that I love about this map is you can definitely tell like the lower-rated players, like myself, versus like the really good people at this game, because the lower-rated players will just leave the middle almost always alone. <laughs> We're like, yeah, there's point defense in there. There's AA. That's just that's a lot of actions per minute to deal with just I'll pass and just not not deal with it getting T2 out though and that was I think pretty critical for me because I was going to lose this side um, I think without without the T2 production that came in or maybe not lose it but it would have been much more difficult to maintain control of because he does have this army with some pillars and some mongoose marshalling I was super scared that he was going for some, like, crazy strategy. Like, rushing T3 land or something like that back behind it. Because it seemed like he was just so quiet after the initial portion of the game. And uh, as I'm kind of looking at it now, it, it comes down a lot to reclaim. Although he might be power stalling as well. Yeah, he's power stalling real hard. I was like, I'm seeing a lot of T2 mixes, but not a lot of, uh, yeah, so this is another good thing to talk about. So I talk about this in my how to transition to T2 phase, um, but the first thing that you should do whenever you get to T2 is always build a T2 power generator. Right now you've got shields, you're building T2 PD, you've got multiple T2, whoa, you got multiple T2 HQs. Okay, you don't need, you don't need multiple HQs. Um, but that's sending you into just crippling power debt. And I'm at plus three. There have been four in-game minutes, I'm pretty sure, since you started this T2 power reactor. And there, there are ways that you could mitigate it by like turning off all your factories and your shields and things like that. But this is why you always go for T2 power generator right off the bat. Even though you've got you know a good amount of T1 power generation, always, always, T2 power first. First thing you do whenever you make the jump to T2. And if you look at total mass accrued, uh, 8, 9k versus 15, before he went into that power stall, we were only about 2k mass accrued apart. And that power stall really, really hamstrung him. Because if you're not producing power, your mass extractors aren't working either, or they're working less efficiently. Um, and you can see now that he's kind of pulled himself out of this power stall. Uh, he's outproducing me on eco a little bit. Not, not a whole lot, but a little bit. And yeah, this was, I think, a fight that he should have scouted first. He does have radar in here, so I think maybe he thought all these were T1 units, but no, there was there was a lot of T2 in there. And he's power stalling again. Again, just too many things. Trying to use too much power. What is he doing as far as fixing that? Okay, so there's no, no T2 power generator. Yeah, so there's not power under construction either. And I think that this is whenever he, he kind of decided that, all right, game was over. I actually almost missed this commander up here as well. I think I was just going for an attack. <laughs> Didn't even realize that this commander was there and I was like, oh shit, time to, <laughs> we gotta go.
And that was the game. You know, in hindsight, I really should have, in my scouting, looked at this base and thought, where is the T2 power? You know, how, how is he keeping the lights on? Um, that's definitely something I should have put together in the moment, in the game. I think, again, I was a little intimidated. Again, you know, it's, it's a guy I had played against, never beaten. Um, played against several times, actually, not just like once or twice and never beaten. So maybe there was, I, I think I was a little scared where I was like, there's going to be something. A, a, the other shoe is going to drop eventually. And uh, it didn't. So either way, I, I could have maintained, a, been a little bit more alert, I think, in uh, my gameplay. But that's it for that. Uh, I hope that was, you know, entertaining, educational. That's, that's, those are the kind of two things that I shoot for in my videos are either entertaining or educational. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.